Today we are going to discuss about the vision of current in parallel circuit. How current flows in parallel circuit we will see in detail. What is parallel circuit? Any circuit where current have one then more paths in the circuit. The current takes one then more paths in the circuit. It will be called parallel circuit. The components in this configuration are in parallel. I have uploaded video. I will give link about type of circuits so you can check series and parallel circuits. So first ru second rule the same voltage drop will present in across every component in parallel because every component R1, R2, R3 every component will be directly connected to the battery terminal. If there are so many components but every component will be connected to the positive and negative terminal it will be called parallel circuit. So flow of current will depend on the value of the resistance. The higher value of resistance will allow less current. The lower value of resistance will cause more current flow within the circuit. So we will see them in detail. The rule for parallel circuit is that the sum of flowing current from each branch will be equal to the current drawn from the battery or from the source current. The current passing through every branch line, every component in parallel, the sum of every branch current will be equal to the source current. Simple, we can say the total current of the circuit will be equal to sum of every branch current flowing in the parallel in the circuit. IT is equal to I branch 1 current flowing from branch number 1 plus current flowing from branch number 3, 4, 5. The next rule the current can be calculated according to Ohm law I is equal to V over R because every component in the parallel is directly connected to battery or source voltage so the voltage will remain same but the value of the resistance will depend for calculating the current. If the resistance is high, the current will low. If the resistance is low, the more current will flow within the, the branch. So we will see the circuit. It have battery. It is applied 15 volt and it is negative terminal the left side of battery is connected to a pair of resistors there is a branch one line goes to R1 and the second line goes to R2 after passing the current from these two resistors at the right end it will join at the same point then it will complete its path to battery positive terminal we will see this circuit, we will calculate and now I have a circuit I applied 2 ampere meters in the battery in and out and 2 ampere meters I have applied in the series of 2 resistors for calculating the branch current you can see the leftmost downside ampere meter gives 4.5 ampere and the rightmost also gives 4.5 ampere. These two ampere meters calculate the source current going out and returning back. The upper two ampere meters which is connected with R1 and the other is connected to R2 these will measure the current flowing through the every branch. The upper one 
it is giving 1.5 ampere we will calculate and we will verify the down one is giving 3 ampere while as a whole current by giving 4.5 ampere we will calculate and verify rules we discussed we will prove them in our this subject so friends if you are new to my channel subscribe and press bell icon button and follow me so you can find my my every video in your inbox at first now we will start our subject i made one resistor here i will make two branches from this point second resistor and it will go to second node this is called node these dots at the both end from where current will give parallel path it is called node battery it will give total current it there will be two, two paths from r1 and r2 current flowing from r1 we will name it i1 and the second r2 we will name i2 it will take two paths from the left one left node from the left joint it is taking two paths after that it will completing path like this to the battery end from the battery end there is one path and to the battery end there is one path but in between there are two paths now we will calculate rt we have three formulas for rt if you have two resistors only in parallel r1 multiplied by r2 or divide we will divide r1 over plus r2 and if we have same value in parallel two resistors we will divide by two just only if we have 10 ohm resistor both in parallel we will divide 10 by 2 10 over 2 so and other formula 1 over rt that is very common formula 1 over rt is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 so many resistors but only for two resistors we have this formula we calculate it rt is 3.333 ohm now we will calculate i1 in branch number 1 it is i1 in branch number 1 v over r1 because voltage are the same in parallel we because every resistor is connected directly to the battery terminal so every resistor will have the same voltage in first line first branch r1 branch it is 1.5 ampere current in r2 the same formula but we will put r2 value it is 5 ohm it is 3 ampere current now we will check our total current it we will verify with the formula ohm la ohms la it is equal to v over r here r is rt we calculated in our first line rt is 3.333 ohm so 15 volt and we will divide by 3.333 ohm it is 4.5 ampere okay now now we will check the third rule the sum of all branch branch currents all branches current will be equal to the source current source current is it which is taken from the battery and branch 1 current is 1.5 ampere branch 2 current is 3 ampere and the source current we calculated 4.5 ampere as we have seen in our tutorial in our first diagram where I am 
applied ampere meters that were showing 4.5 ampere source, source current and 1.5 ampere for the branch number 1 current and 3 ampere from for the branch number 2 current so here we have verified with the formula the sum of branch currents is equal to the source current in this formula source current is equal to sum of every branch current so friends if this video satisfies you like share comment please we will meet with new video take care